We are going to be discussing about Microsoft Intune security baseline and how to deploy security baseline through Microsoft Intune Admin Center. So first of all, what is Microsoft security baseline? The Microsoft security baseline according to Microsoft is a set of pre-configured security settings and best practices which are recommended by Microsoft for securing Windows operating system and Microsoft applications. These baselines are designed to help organizations establish strong security configurations while maintaining compatibility and user usability. So why should you want to actually introduce a Microsoft security baseline in your company or why, do you sh why should you implement it? On your in your company using Microsoft Intune. First of all, it reduces attack surface, which of course minimizes vulnerability by enforcing secure secure default. It speed up deployment. Organization can quickly implement a tested security configuration, and also it ensures ensures consistency, which is a standardized settings across multiple devices, reducing security gaps. And lastly, it facilitates compliance, it helps meet regula regulatory and industrial security standards. So if I go to my to Microsoft Intune Admin Center, and here we go to end, Endpoint Security, and we can see the security baselines here. So on a security baseline, you can see we have, for example, we have different kind of security baseline. We have the security baseline from Windows 10 and later. Um, Microsoft, uh, we have security baseline for Microsoft Defender for endpoint security and also for the Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise security baseline. Um, I will be actually focusing more on the security, security baseline for Windows 10 and later, which means Windows 10 and 11. So let me just click on that. And now we need to actually create a profile. So let's create a profile. Here we can, we don't have any, we can actually. Um, change the default here. So I'm just going to click create. So for the name, I'm just going to enter Kelv Global Security Base. And then the description, I'm just going to enter the following created by Kelvin Johnson. And then we cannot click next. In next, we have different configuration settings we can actually apply to our environment. So let's just wait for that and see what we have. So in configuration settings, we actually have a lot to configure. So as you can see, for example, we have like the administrative template, browser, data protection, defender. For example, if I click browser, you can see it says allow password manager. You see these settings let you decide whether employee can save their password locally using the password manager. We can actually say, well, allow, because when we configure this, it's going to be blocked. And also, you see, prevent certificate uh, error override. You can see some configuration that has already been configured for us. So I can actually just close that. And also for device lock. You can see it says the minimum password length here is 14. I can actually change that to, for example, to 8. And the device password history, that's how many times you should your device should be remembered. And before you can actually use the same password, I can change that to 10. You can see you have a lot of modification you can actually do here. And for example, we also have, for example, we also have the firewall. You can actually check that local policy security settings. So I can limit local account use of blank password to console logon only. You can see it's enabled. We can actually disable it. So you have a lot you can actually configure. But if I go to administrative template, here you can see in administrative template, you can see that we have a lot of pre-configuration that has been done for us. Prevent enable, enabling lock screen camera. You can see it has been enabled. We have the MS Microsoft Security Guide. Um, you can see we have the MSS Legacy, Network DNS Client. So if I go down, for example, on our printer configuration, we have configure redirect, redirection guide. We can actually disable that if we don't want that to be configured or we can actually enable it and also configure 
RPS, RPC listening settings. So we have a lot of configuration that has been pre-configured for us here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to actually try to deploy this and see what happens to our device. Because uh, you can see, for example, remote assistance, configure solicited, solicited remote assistance has been disabled. And also we have, for example, let me let me go down again. Deny right access to fish drives not protected by BitLocker. We can actually enable it. Well, I'm going to leave that for disabled. Windows component BitLocker drive encryption. Remove data drive is enabled. And we also have, uh, let's see, internet control panel advanced page. You can see we have a lot here. So I will, I will always, always advise you, before you actually do this in a production environment, make sure you sit down with your security teams, with your system engineer to actually make sure that the right configuration, the right security baseline is being configured. If not, your users may be having some issues doing some other configuration or performing some actions on their device. So I'm just going to leave this the way it is and then click Next. And then for the scope, I'm just going to just don't add any scope. And for the assignment, I'm going to add, well, let me just add a group. I have a Windows 11 device, so I'm going to actually select my Windows 11 device and click Select. You can see we have one device there. Click Next. And then check if everything is okay. Click Next. Here we can now click Create. So this is going to create the security baseline. And mind you, just like I said before, if I go back into security baseline, for example, we have the Microsoft 365 apps. We can decide to create a profile for the Microsoft 365 apps. Let me just call this test and show you what I mean. So here we go. You can see, for example, you can actually create a baseline that does a lot for the microsoft um, office 2016 you can see so you want to actually make sure that block macros from running in office files from the internet users which is enabled for visio as well you can actually do the same and also it says allow trusted location on the network user you can disable it or we can also enable it but i'm just going to cancel that for now and right now the policy has been deployed to a uh, device so what you need to do if i go to devices I only have one, just one device on this um, in this environment. So I can actually just go and then click on that device. Then try to sync the policy I've actually deployed to that device. And this the pol that policy will be applied to that device. Like I said before, before you apply this policy into production, make sure that you have sent, you've actually created this policy and deployed to a pilot device that is to, to some setting users, to some setting key users in your company. For example, you can have um, IT pilot users or even test devices. For example, let's say you have like three or four test devices which can be used by different users to log on and verify if, for example, some they were able to perform some actions or not and also you can also deploy it to your IT teams to start with for example just some group of your IT teams and then let them test and see give you feedback and with that feedback you can now deploy it again to a second group receive your feedback before then you can now decide to deploy it to the whole company but make sure if you are working for a very very large organization it may take sometimes up to like three to six months before you can deploy it to everybody in the company because you'll be deploying it group by group. So after you've deployed your security baseline, you can actually go to security baseline in endpoint security. And here you can actually see the profile you've deployed. You can click on it. And now we can actually see if how many devices have actually, um, the how, how many devices have Got, got to the security baseline installed. We can see error if there are conflicts. You can actually see it. You can actually go to view report to actually get a more details about the reports of the security baseline you've deployed.